All right, let's do this. Vulnerability. Boom. 326 K with one shot. So you can do 326 K per second. Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Outriders video. In this video, we're going to take a look at a legendary submachine gun called the Daim Daimyo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. If I did, didn't, then do apologize. I am from Ukraine, so I sometimes mispronounce stuff. But essentially, we're going to take a look at the mods, uh, the original ones, and then I'm going to try to scale the Ultimate Storm Whip to its maximum damage as, as I possibly can with my current build. And also, I'd like to share with you a thing that I've just just discovered. So it's actually pretty interesting. I can't believe, man, that I've discovered this after a week of gameplay. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. So yeah, I wasn't joking about a week. It's actually a little bit more. Seven days and six hours, so <laughs> I've been playing this game a lot since release and demo stuff. So the Daimyo, uh, once you've uh, loot this weapon, there are going to be two mods on it. So it's going to be the Ultimate Storm Whip, uh, which should, should bring down lightning on an enemy dealing 30, uh, 74k damage. And improved... Uh, Stiffening, so it basically shots inflict slow on enemies. All right. Uh, generally speaking, visually speaking, this gun looking really nice. I mean, look at that beast. It's crazy. <laughs> all right. So the thing that I want to share with you, I have two identical guns, and one of them has a lot more firepower. So I believe that uh, something is up. <laughs> so maybe you can actually. Uh, get yourself same gun but with more firepower so for example here we go I scaled the attribute points to the maximum for both guns uh, I replaced because I thought maybe it was the mod that because the other mod has had fortress on it that's what I was I'm gonna be trying to increase the, uh, the damage of this ultimate whip because 74k damage per second that's actually sounds pretty juicy and if you collab it with like bleeding extra bleeding damage uh, vulnerability that should scale a lot maybe like to 200 maybe I don't know we'll see we'll test it out so I replaced it back and made the gun exactly the same and still for some reason the other gun has a lot more firepower interesting thing but everything else is identical so the crit damage 30 30 percent skill 4.49 uh, uh, close range damage 10 percent so nothing changes over there Clip size, all, the only difference is the damage, as we can see. The reload is actually really nice, 1.1 seconds, so this gun reloads really fast. That's a good thing. And as you can see, accuracy, uh, stability, and range, all of it is the same. So that's interesting. The other thing is, you cannot tr uh, change at the shop the variant, right? So, for example, if we navigate over here and select the gun, Right, this is the one I've been changing. Yeah, this is the one I'll be changing. You can't swap the variant. I would love to make it this automatic, man, to be honest. Alright, so I'm gonna just replace the mod. And by the way, I do have another legendary that actually proves my theory to be correct. And it it seems like if you found a your favorite gun, you can still find a better version of it. So just you just gotta have to keep an eye on it. Like for example, the gun that I'm wearing on me right now, it's, I'm going to review it some other time, it's called Iraqus, right? I have exactly the same thing and I did not do any magic with it whatsoever. So I didn't boost uh, the attributes, uh, but there are difference between them. As you can see, there's a symbol and crit damage, whatever, uh, but still, one has way less uh, firepower than the other. So that's interesting. As you can see, I didn't even play around with the mods for this specific weapon. Anyway, uh, so let's take a look how the gun looks like from the front. There we go. Looking really nice. And looking really nice on the back, right? I just need to make sure I have the correct gun applied. Okay, we're going to be testing the original one and then we're going to be testing the one with the fortress. So right now I don't have the one with the fortress. So let's go find ourselves an expedition. Uh, to play around. Oh man, all these expeditions are not that good. I was 
hoping for something else. Alright, let me try some, something here. Here, this expedition should be the best one to do our test, because there is like, sort of, well, it's a big creature, but it's not an elite at the very start. So we'll use it as a test subject. So first, I will shoot with this gun, uh, the way it as is, so we see the damage. Uh, then I will apply the bleed, we'll see the damage, and then I will apply the uh, vulnerable and see the damage with bleed in combination. So on its own right now, we shoot, boom, 56, 56, okay cool. So now we apply the bleed, 100, 100 what, I can't see because there's too much damage indicators. Ah, uh, the bleed has been removed. 100k, basically. Now we'll apply a vulnerable. Put back the bleeding on. Oh, did I just see 230? Let's try that again. Let's quickly wipe these guys out. By the way, this is my anomaly build, so really nice to do the tests. Uh, Oh, and I forgot to apply the golem as well. well. So basically, I can. Okay, this guy has got bleed, and now I, I still have. Yeah, 200. Oh man, I just need one target. Come on, boys. Get the hell out of here. Alright, let's wait for this thing to come. Boom. And I'll slap the guy with my hand, go fight the bleed, yeah 200k per shot, not bad, let's try that with fortress now, actually let's use this guy also as, as a test subject, <laughs> let's kill all the guys and get the correct results, oh, man. That guy ain't gonna kill me, that is. Finally. Okay, let's wait for my skills to get back on. Alright. 58k. Now we bleed. 125-ish. 130 I see. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, uh, damn, I can't apply this thing. Oh, now I can. Now, vulnerable. 200k. Yeah, so basically like 200k. I think I saw 220, but that's more than enough. Okay, let's abandon this thing. Oh wait, no, not a bad. Retry. And use the other one with the Fortress mod. Alright, so now we're going to be using the same gun, but with the Fortress, which should increase our damage. Let's see how much we can scale it up to. Alright, so without any debuffs, one shot, 80k. That was 55 or 50, Jesus, like 30k uh, additional damage, not bad. Let's apply bleed. 160, 100, almost 170k, yeah 169, alright let's finish this test subject, <laughs> not bad, not bad, and this thing can trigger every one second, so that's actually pretty nice. Alright, he's got bleed on. 275 did I just see? 250. Alright, let's wait for the big guy to come out. 
use a really nice subject. <laughs> Test subject. <laughs> Come here, my punching bag, man. I'm gonna give you some love. Oh, and I forgot about the golem. Well, Alright, let's deal with all these test subjects first. I mean, these other guys. I messed up a little bit, should have done it another way. Okay, he's out. Okay, Petos. 83. Good. 85. Let's apply bleed. 187. Supply vulnerable. And bleed. 270. Please use the golem. Uh, all the other effects are gone. Damn it. Wait, don't kill me, man. I need my golem back. Let's just be friends, man. Come on. I want to be friends. All right, let's do this. Vulnerability, boom. Three hundred and twenty-six K with one shot. So you can do three hundred and twenty-six K per second. That's actually not that bad. So I was thinking what if we forget about the fortress and we put the the share link shares damage uh, firepower damage and it shares anomaly damage let's see how that's gonna work out last test alright so this time we put the ultimate damage link basically what this does shoots a link to f up to four enemies sharing 40% of their weapon damage dealt and 20% of anomaly damage every one second as well so we are right now in scorched lands this is also a pretty cool location by the way which one am I wearing okay the one with damage link cool alright so let's see without anything boom I kind of gave him like what additional 4k damage. All right, let's do this thing. Let's apply vulnerable and stuff like that. Come on, group out, boys. You gotta stand closer. That guy's got that stupid armor. Okay, maybe this damage lane ain't the best idea for this one. Look at that. It's just not working out. <laughs> well, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm not a pro with that mod at the moment, but I heard it. It's a good thing. Alright, let's switch to my fortress. Oh, 100k damage. Suck. 200. And this is not a firepower build, it's an anomaly build. Okay. I'll show you my build just in a sec. Let me exit this place. Alright, so this is my current build, Seismic Shifter, with, well, I actually made the uh, build video on uh, my new build, version 2, is actually pretty deadly, with moaning winds, and this pistol is OP, uh, I was also testing this mod out, it's actually also pretty cool, 
but I think fortress is better because fortress gives me the ability to slam my skills even better so I'm not going to be switching that so I'm still playing around with a lot of different mods see what else I can come up with <laughs> but anyway this is where I'm going to be calling at the end for this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did you know the drill don't forget to hit that like comment down below please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so if you got some positive negative feedback feel free to comment the only thing that I ask of you is not to swear if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I'm from Ukraine. Once again, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. From the ashes we rose.